Phytoestrogens, Wikipedia article audio. Phytoestrogens are plant-derived xenoestrogens not generated within the endocrine system but consumed by eating phytoestrogenic plants. Also called dietary estrogens, they are a diverse group of naturally occurring nonsteroidal plant compounds that, because of their structural similarity with estradiol, have the ability to cause estrogenic or slash and anti-estrogenic effects by sitting in and blocking receptor sites against estrogen. Structure Their name comes from the Greek phyto and estrogen, the hormone which gives fertility to female mammals. The word estrus, Greek omicron sigma tau rho omicron, means sexual desire, and gene, Greek gamma nu omicron, is to generate. It has been hypothesized that plants use phytoestrogens as part of their natural defense against the overpopulation of herbivore animals by controlling female fertility. The similarities, at molecular level, of estrogens and phytoestrogens allow them to mildly mimic and sometimes act as antagonists of estrogen. Phytoestrogens were first observed in 1926 but it was unknown if they could have any effect in human or animal metabolism. In the 1940s and early 1950s, it was noticed that some pastures of subterranean clover and red clover had adverse effects on the fecundity of grazing sheep. Researchers are exploring the nutritional role of phytoestrogens in the regulation of cholesterol and the maintenance of proper bone density post-menopause. Evidence is accruing that phytoestrogens may have protective action against diverse health disorders, such as prostate, breast, bowel, and other cancers, cardiovascular disease, brain function disorders and osteoporosis. Mechanism of Action Phytoestrogens cannot be considered nutrients given that the lack of these in the diet does not produce any characteristic deficiency syndrome nor do they participate in any essential biological function. Ecology Analytical methods are available to determine phytoestrogen content in plants and food. Avian studies Phytoestrogens mainly belong to a large group of substituted natural phenolic compounds. The cumestins, prenyl flavonoids, and isoflavones are three of the most active in estrogenic effects in this class. The best researched are isoflavones, which are commonly found in soy and red clover. Lignans have also been identified as phytoestrogens, although they are not flavonoids. Mycoestrogens have similar structures and effects, but are not components of plants. These are mold metabolites of fusarium, especially common on cereal grains, but also occurring elsewhere, e.g. on various forages. Although mycoestrogens are rarely taken into account in discussions about phytoestrogens, these are the compounds that initially generated the interest on the topic. Food Sources Phytoestrogens exert their effects primarily through binding to estrogen receptors. There are two variants of the estrogen receptor, alpha and beta and many phytoestrogens display somewhat higher affinity for ER beta compared to ER alpha. Effects on humans The key structural elements that enable phytoestrogens to bind with high affinity to estrogen receptors and display estradiol-like effects are In addition to interaction with ERS, phytoestrogens may also modulate the concentration of endogenous estrogens by binding or inactivating some enzymes, and may affect the bioavailability of sex hormones by depressing or stimulating the synthesis of sex hormone binding globulin. Males Females Infant formula Ethnopharmacology 
Emerging evidence shows that some phytoestrogens bind to and transactivate peroxisome proliferator activated receptors. In vitro studies show an activation of PPARs at concentrations above 1 μm, which is higher than the activation level of ERS. At the concentration below 1 μm, activation of ERS may play a dominant role. At higher concentrations, both ERS and PPARs are activated. Studies have shown that both ERS and PPARs influence each other and therefore induce differential effects in a dose-dependent way. The final biological effects of Jenny Stein are determined by the balance among these pleiotrophic actions. These compounds in plants are an important part of their defense system, mainly against fungi. Phytoestrogens are ancient naturally occurring substances, and as dietary phytochemicals they are considered as coevolutive with mammals. In the human diet, phytoestrogens are not the only source of exogenous estrogens. Xenoestrogens, are found as food additives and ingredients, and also in cosmetics, plastics, and insecticides. Environmentally, they have similar effects as phytoestrogens, making it difficult to clearly separate the action of these two kind of agents in studies done on populations. The consumption of plants with unusual content of phytoestrogens under drought conditions, has been shown to decrease fertility in quail. Parrot food as available in nature has shown only weak estrogenic activity. Studies have been conducted on screening methods for environmental estrogens present in manufactured supplementary food, with the purpose to enable reproduction of endangered species. According to a study by Canadian researchers about the content of nine common phytoestrogens in a Western diet, foods with the highest relative phytoestrogen content were nuts and oil seeds followed by soy products, cereals and breads, legumes, meat products, and other processed foods that may contain soy, vegetables, fruits, alcoholic, and non-alcoholic beverages. Flax seed and other oil seeds contain the highest total phytoestrogen content, followed by soybeans and tofu. The highest concentrations of isoflavones are found in soybeans and soybean products followed by legumes, whereas lignans are the primary source of phytoestrogens found in nuts and oil seeds and also found in cereals, legumes, fruits and vegetables. Phytoestrogen content varies in different foods, and may vary significantly within the same group of foods depending on processing mechanisms and type of soybean used. Legumes, whole grain cereals, and some seeds are high in phytoestrogens. A more comprehensive list of foods known to contain phytoestrogens includes an epidemiological study of women in the United States found that the dietary intake of phytoestrogens in healthy postmenopausal Caucasian women is less than 1 mg daily. In human beings, phytoestrogens are readily absorbed, circulate in plasma and are excreted in the urine. Metabolic influence is different from that of grazing animals due to the differences between ruminant versus monogastric digestive systems. A wide range of beneficial effects of phytoestrogens on the cardiovascular, metabolic, central nervous systems as well as reduction of risk of cancer and postmenopausal symptoms have been claimed. However there is also concern that phytoestrogens may act as endocrine disruptors that adversely affect health. Based on currently available evidence, it is not clear whether the potential health benefits of phytoestrogens outweigh their risks. The phenolic ring that is indispensable for binding to estrogen receptor, the ring of isoflavones mimicking a ring of estrogens at the receptor's binding site, low molecular weight similar to estrogens, 
distance between two hydroxyl groups at the isoflavones nucleus similar to that occurring in estradiol, optimal hydroxylation pattern. It is unclear if phytoestrogens have any effect on male sexuality, with conflicting results about the potential effects of isoflavones originating from soy. A 2010 meta-analysis of 15 placebo-controlled studies said that neither soy foods nor isoflavone supplements alter measures of bioavailable testosterone concentrations in men. Some studies showed that isoflavone supplementation had no effect on sperm concentration, count, or motility, and had no effects on testicular or ejaculate volume. Sperm count decline and increasing rate of testicular cancers in the West may be linked to a higher presence of isoflavone phytoestrogens in the diet, but such a link has not been definitively proven. Furthermore there is some evidence that phytoestrogens may affect male fertility but further investigation is needed before a firm conclusion can be drawn. It is unclear if phytoestrogens have any effect on the cause or prevention of cancer in females. Some epidemiological studies have suggested a protective effect against breast cancer. Other epidemiological studies found that consumption of soy estrogens is safe for patients with breast cancer, and that it may decrease mortality and recurrence rates. It remains unclear if phytoestrogens can minimize some of the deleterious effects of low estrogen levels resulting from oophorectomy, menopause, or other causes. A Cochrane review of the use of phytoestrogens to relieve the vasomotor symptoms of menopause stated that there was no conclusive evidence to suggest any benefit to their use, although Jenny Stein effects should be further investigated. Some studies have found that some concentrations of isoflavones may have effects on intestinal cells. At low doses, Jenny Stein acted as a weak estrogen and stimulated cell growth, at high doses, it inhibited proliferation and altered cell cycle dynamics. This biphasic response correlates with how Jenny Stein is thought to exert its effects. Some reviews express the opinion that more research is needed to answer the question of what effect phytoestrogens may have on infants, but their authors did not find any adverse effects. Studies conclude there are no adverse effects in human growth, development, or reproduction as a result of the consumption of soy-based infant formula compared to conventional cow milk formula. Soy formula presents no more risk than cow milk formula. One of these studies, published at the Journal of Nutrition, concludes that Comprehensive literature reviews and clinical studies of infants fed SBIFs have resolved questions or raise no clinical concerns with respect to nutritional adequacy, sexual development, neurobehavioral development, immune development, or thyroid disease. SBIFs provide complete nutrition that adequately supports normal infant growth and development. FDA has accepted SBIFs as safe for use as the sole source of nutrition. Clinical guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics state, although isolated soy protein-based formulas may be used to provide nutrition for normal growth and development, there are few indications for their use in place of cow milk-based formula. These indications include for infants with galactosemia and hereditary lactase deficiency and in situations in which a vegetarian diet is preferred. In some countries, phytoestrogenic plants have been used for centuries in the treatment of menstrual and menopausal problems, as well as for fertility problems. Plants used that have been shown to contain phytoestrogens include pure Ariamiri fica, and its close relative, kudzu, angelica, fennel and anise. In a rigorous study, the use of one such source of phytoestrogen, red clover, has been shown to be safe, 
but ineffective in relieving menopausal symptoms Panax ginseng contains phytoestrogens and has been used for menopausal symptoms.